we're live. It is the Kent Beck Scrum. Um, Sam and Michael. Michael, how would you summarize what we've been doing doing today? Stuff, pushing stuff out. Yeah, we certainly have. Getting an upgrade path in place for premium users, basic users to click in their profile and make Sam's house great again. Indeed. It's all about making improving the standing of my London house. But so, yeah, so I, I think, yeah, there's a bigger bigger project we're working on, which is about refactoring the way we represent the different plans in the, in the system. But so we kind of ducked and dived. For the premium plus, yeah. Yeah, we ducked and dived, and we pulled the... We pulled out the, the the sort of domain model work that we done on Friday into a separate branch, so we were able to submit uh, a thing that just uh, provides that upgrade button, um, shows it and shows the status for the user who's logged in on their own account page, and um, also linked it up so that when you do sign up, if you're logged in, it will associate your customer ID with your your account account, which is something that we we knew we wanted in there so yeah um and then other news getting kind of pings from the agile bot about slack in my like it's not from actual agile bot it's from um website one yeah which is kind of weird but we've got a ticket on that and we're following along um yeah this morning i was reviewing legacy homework one uh, gonna do more of that tomorrow. Met a bit, lot, a lot of people. Uh, met plus and other new people in the um, I forgot what it's called the Ken Beck Scrum, no, Modern Fowler Scrum. Um, uh, not so many here. Um, I'm expecting Alex Buckmeyer, who is Rachel's partner in crime at Bond Direction Harrow, to turn up and to talk to me about uh, they're doing a charity uh, or a day and a workshop uh, about agile charities or about the agile method or agile agile project development uh, for charities which um alex and i are talking about doing together which is um could be interesting alex, we're gonna show up. and well it's i mean i sort of said to him you know look we can t uh, we'll talk oh, yes, scrum at the scrum or you know like there'd be the scrum and i thought he you know possibly he might join the scrum but uh he may be well he may just be furiously trying to connect to it and and not having not having much luck um is he in slack uh he's he's not i've texted him i've got him on um i'll do an explicit invite to him via google i've noticed recently in the beta sasa meetings for some reason, Richard doesn't seem to be able to join the Hangouts unless I explicitly invite him. Um, uh, uh, there he is. Hey, Alex. Hey. How's it going? How's it going? Good. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm in transit. Oh, okay. I, I, I can still talk to you. Maybe. Yeah, we can just about hear you. Yeah, are you on the train sure. or something? Just on the bus. Okay, cool. All right, then you're on your mobile. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a good time to talk. To talk to you. <laughs> we'll see. Cool. Yeah, so um, I was just telling Michael, you know Michael, don't you? Oh, anyway, you've been, you've been in Hangouts with Michael before. Michael's, you know, based oh, yeah. in the US. Yeah. yeah. Um, he he was Hi. when I was away in the summer one time. He was he was running the meetings with Rachel. Yeah, at one point or another. That's right. Um, but so, Alex, um, are you? Yeah, yeah. So I was just telling Michael about. So the plan is to do this um, kind of what is it like? It's an agile projects for charities. What are, what are we calling the event at the moment? I think just a training session. Training session. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but so the, yeah, it's a, a session on agile project management. Yeah. And we're talking about doing it on November the 29th. So we've still got a couple of months. 
Yes. And you were saying, you know, three hour session, would that be enough? And then some of the things that you want to get across are, I'll bring this up on the screen share, you might be able to see it on your mobile, but um, we'll capture it for the recording, which is um, what Agile is and where it came from, Agile Manifesto, yeah. principles and practices, value of Agile to your nonprofit, implementing Agile in your nonprofit, communication, collaboration, and culture, risk management pitfalls, technologies to help, and further resources. So that, that which sounds like a great you know, set of things to want to get across. Yeah. And then we've got like the, the mechanism for getting it across. And I was sort of pitching to you this idea of, um, uh, let's have a look here. Yeah, like doing a microcosm of an agile project. Yeah. And I think you, you were like, okay, that sounds great, but like, what is that? And yeah. <laughs> I, I, I was imagining that what we could do is we could try and have within that three hours, we could kind of have a kickoff. We could have some voting. We could have some work in independent teams and we could then have um, a retrospective. I mean, in that what we could do, do is like parts of, it, it sort of depends on, I mean, the, the Agile Manifesto itself, you know, we can kind of review. I mean, there's, there's lots of things like, you know, Scrum and XP and so on that are often associated with Agile. Um, but, you know, arguably Agile is about this, um, you know, doing things one way or the other. Uh, there was also the interesting, all of them see this, the 12 principles of uh, Agile. But so, and I was listening to Andy Hunt, who's one of the original signatories, talk on um, the radio the other day. And, um, but I think the, the key thing about Agile for all of these things is about trying things out, getting feedback yeah. quickly, and then making yeah. adjustments and trying to continually improve. Um, yeah. And so what we could, we could do, like, we can call the different things, like, okay, we're going to run this session like, you know, so you get a taste and flavor of the Agile experience. So the idea is that we start with a, a kickoff that defines, you know, what we want to immediately do. So in the kickoff, we could say, look, we're just going to present, this is the Agile Manifesto, this is the principles behind it. And, you know, and then start going into, okay, what are the things that you want to get out of this session? So we make it, rather yeah. than just talking at them, we kind of uh, get them to propose, like, things that we might do or explain during the session. Okay. So they, I, I mean, I, I don't know. Would they get some, would they get, uh, so would it be like, they would get an explanation before? Yes, I, yes. I, I, I'm thinking that the so kickoff like, would start. Basis, okay. like, Sorry, the basis, like there's a base for them to start from. So. Oh, absolutely, yes. We wouldn't, yeah, we wouldn't okay. want, ab absolutely. So for example, what we would do is we'd present the manifesto, right? Like, you know, individual interactions over process, oh, we lost them. Processes and tools. Um, it's unfortunate. Yeah. It's Andrew Hunt. Yes, he's in there. Yeah, Andrew Hunt, he was on um, Ruby Rogues the other day. And he's got this... He's, he, he's, he's got this new thing. He's called it Grows. Is, oh, here we go, the Grows method. And he says this is like agile, but with a kind of more structure to show you how to do the process. Because he says he doesn't think very much of what's happened to Agile. Hello? Hey there. Am I back? Sorry. You are back. Hi. Hi. Sorry about that. That's all right. Wrong button. No problem. It's okay. Great. Are you are you now at your computer? I'm on my so I'm still on the phone but on a quieter sort of nice um, nice path with no traffic, so it's perfect. Okay, great, great. Well, I'll, I'll carry. Well, what I was just—I can see your screen as well. Oh, cool. Okay, yeah, I was just showing to to Michael this. There's this new thing, which is uh, so. And Andy Hunt's one of the original guys. He's sort of like presenting this grows thing, which is like agile with more structure. Anyway, uh, what I was thinking was is that you know the three hours we've broken up. Like the first, you know, we try and do like a very short presentation at the beginning, maybe twenty minutes yeah. of saying like. Agile came from software development, right? And this was the manifesto, yeah. you know, because it's nice and short to present. And then possibly, yeah. you know, a little bit of details about these 12 principles to try and broaden it out. Because I think for some people, 
the manifesto itself is so vague as to be like, yeah, what on earth are you talking about? And, <laughs> and then we could say, right, so that's it started in software development, but now it's being used in a lot of other different areas. And, you know, we could mention some more of what people are saying, agile approaches to management, to marketing, what, what have you, this, that, and the other. Um, and then we could say, you know, like, but anyway, t t teams are teams are using this, and you know, we could mention other things like Scrum and this, that, and the other. Um, but what it's all about is trying to get quick feedback. And so we would say to the people, it's like, okay, so we've presented you with this like twenty minutes of stuff, right? Yeah. And you might have heard some things like we're saying, um, you know, we welcome changing requirements even late in development, you know, and maybe that was the thing that you, like that we said yeah. so far that was the most issue. But rather than just like answering questions in a big group, right? I mean, you could just like be doing questions all the way through. We could try and say is like, look, what we want to do is, given this initial presentation, let's break down the different things we'd like to know more about. Okay. Right, and so people would yeah. then basically kind of be proposing stories for what we're going so, to do with the work. Okay, Go so on. Go on. I can hear you breathing, but hello. Hello. Yeah. 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 Go on. I was gonna. I thought you were about to say something. Maybe. Maybe I should have not have stopped. <laughs> it sounds like the a, like the noise from the womb. It's like a sort of fetal heartbeat going on. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps. And I, it seems to be fine. I'm... <laughs> it's funny how it kind of comes and goes, isn't it? It's, it, it's... Can you anyway. hear me? Yeah, I, I, I can. Um, oh, OK. Yeah. Uh, anyway. I guess I'm going to carry on talking. It's being recorded anyway. And, and so anyway. I, I can hear you, so. Yeah, all right. So, so the, what I'm imagining is that people, I mean, of course, it all falls flat if nobody has any questions or any thoughts or anything at all. But that, you know, basically, if they don't, we then kind of keep on talking and presenting more. I mean, we should prepare, you know, stuff for an hour to present. But, yeah. you know, we basically present 20 minutes of stuff because I, I'm a firm believer that basically after, probably after five, seven minutes, people aren't really listening to you. Um, and we kind of say like, okay, you know, what about this interests you? Where, where are your questions? And we try and get them to form stories. So an example of one of those stories might be, okay, well, this idea about welcoming changing requirements late in development, if somebody's, if we've been doing something and then at the last minute they ask for a change, how, yeah. how is that? That must be really, really difficult. What, how, how's that possibly going to work, right? So there's a sort of a question there or an issue there. And what we get them to do is, rather than asking that in front of the group, is we try and um, get people to like work in pairs or in threes to come up with, you know, like or maybe three by five cards or whatever, like, these are the things that I'm interested in knowing more about. And they might be questions that they've come with previously. They might be questions that they had based on what we've just presented to them. And then having got everybody to write down that. And so okay. you know, if we're lucky, everybody, every little sub team, you know, makes two or three and we can kind of go around helping them and, and this, that and the other. And then we kind of bring all these stories about what we're going to do in the workshop together, right, okay. in front of the group. And say, okay, right, here are all the stories we are. And then we try and organize them and say, well, well, these are similar and what have you. And we go through a process maybe of like sticking the three by five cards on the whiteboard and grouping them and working out, okay, right, a few people want to, want to work on, are interested in this thing and this thing and this thing. And we work out what are the uh, key ideas that we're going to try and um, really understand during the workshop, right? And yeah. it's based on the idea that probably there'll be more than we could cover in three hours, right? But so what we could then do is if we've got like these 10 or 15 or how many things, we can then go through a, a process of voting with the group and doing a scrum, right? Yeah. So sort of the kickoff where we start saying, okay, um, right, here's this, let, let's talk about, um, you know, we go through voting for like five or, five or 10 of these and, say, and saying, okay, is it one, two, or in terms of how easy it will be to address and explain this thing, what do we, what do we think? One, two, or three, um, and get people to, to vote on it. And then we do little discussions about it or what have you. But the idea is that after, you know, a kind of another 20 minutes of scrum, 
that we then end up with, okay, we've organized, you know, how difficult it's going to be to cover some of these different things. And then we can talk with the group about, okay, there are these different things. Now, which is the most important? Which are the, which are the priority ones? And then okay. we kind of get down to like, a, okay, here's five kind of topics that we're going to try and really cover properly in the next, uh, you know, the rest of the remainder of the workshop. And yeah. we're then going to split into sub teams and work on those topics and develop them further okay. to present them back to the group at the end of the next hour, let's say. Yeah, to, 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 the, to the whole okay. group. Or, I mean, you know. So, split it in. so if I get this right, so split it into. So split each hour into um, sort of different sections with that right. last hour um, sort of as a present back as such? Yeah, yeah. Well, and, and I think it, what you could, I mean, if you, it can be moved about, but you can imagine the first hour is kind of what we might call it the pump and the scrum, where we yeah. try and present, work out what we're doing, make a plan for, do, for doing it. Then the next hour is people working in small teams on those individual things and uh, and then it sort of you know maybe present back is included that and then in the final section is well present back and retrospective and okay. the idea is to take this this process that one might do over the course of a week or two weeks like a sprint yeah where you would you know you start and up front of like, push it into yeah push it into three hours and an accelerated thing yeah. to kind of say this is you know and then explain that aspect of it and say so what we're going through now is what we might do writ large on a week or two weekly basis in order to try and identify which are the um you know the problems that will deliver uh for you know the the, the least amount of effort the, or the, the ones that we can work on to most effectively uh, make progress and then you know having done so and having worked on them um and sort of delivered on them we then reflect on well how did that go did that work and we consider in the next cycle how we might do things a little bit differently okay so um no so it sounds really good and i think i think the practical element of um learning whilst doing with the theory base as well mm. will work um, my question is so uh, usual attendance for management type um events like uh well we've never tried something like this before mm. but uh usual attendance ranges from around 14 to 20. Mm -hmm. um is there a minimum number do you think that it could run effectively as a like the session that you just described because i'm just wondering if they are sort of to group get into groups if for example eight turn up or something like that yeah or if, if less come up so we have a cut off number of six do you yeah. think that it, it will be as effective or do you think it can just be adapted to suit the course? I, I, I would say that as long as we have, um, I, mean the abs <laughs> I mean, the absolute minimum would be, if it's you and me presenting, the absolute minimum would be having yeah. two, two people. Um, because then at the very least, you and I with them, we could both go with one each and we would form two pairs. So that's the absolute minimum. I, I think it's probably better if we have, like, for example, if you say if there's six, you can put them in two yeah. groups of three, and then you and I can kind of move between them. So that's, and that's probably, okay. uh, probably better. I think, and I think then, you know, six, eight, you know, any numbers there as we go up is definitely not a problem. As it gets larger and larger, you know, uh, probably the, it just gets more and more difficult to fit the whole thing into the three hour time period. Okay. But certainly, you know, I think we, 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 you know, up to 20, we, you know, we could, we can for, with 20, we can form, let's say four teams of five, say, yeah. You know, and, and still, I think the principle of it all still works. And probably with, you know, as you get up to more than 12, 13, 14 people, you can kind of rely on there being, more ideas um but but even if people are very you know they don't want to collaborate they don't want to participate having you and me there we can kind of we can still sort of kind of scaffold the process forward even if people don't particularly want to get involved because we've prepared the material anyway it's just a way of delivering the material um where we try and get them to pick and choose the ordering of it that's you know uh representative of the way that agile works 
Okay. That's fine. So we essentially have like a, uh, so for our cutoff, which is six, we basically yeah. say that we don't, we don't run the session if it's less than six people. Sure. Yeah, that's probably, yeah. Um, I know. I've had, I've, uh, so it seems like, uh, so when we were doing our project management, uh, when I was doing my project management session, when I sort of came to you and said, right, I'm going like, to introduce Agile into it. Mm. It's like, they sort of, they seem really up for it. And mm, I think mm. for me, what I really want to, it's, it is that concept because I don't like how groups at the moment to go in on a project delivery sort of plan. Mm -hmm. They don't adapt to it. So I right. was wondering, right, actually Agile could say, okay, um, sort of deliver sort of deliver the outcomes and the outputs they need mm -hmm. but also just in a different management style and a different sort of project style mm -hmm. um and i think that for them uh to have it have it in a formalized way which sort of well i suppose it's a formalized way it has a formalized way so the voluntary sector would be it, it probably would be like mid-management the people who have budgets and sort of call it um yeah just sort of just delivering our budgets and probably helping people at the same time yeah but i think for their for, from their perspective they would like to see like okay well how does this approach work how does how can we actually integrate this into our into our sort of our working our working day our working lives mm. and then if so by showing them sort of how on the day sort of with a bit of theory mm -hmm. then then hopefully they will understand, okay, well, this is what I can do. And maybe, I mean, we're not, I am, after a three hour session, I'm not expecting like organized, organizational change or anything like that. No. I'm sort of expecting like, right, okay, we can understand that and we can take elements of it and implement it in yeah. our work. Right. So um, that would be the sort of main thing for me. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, uh, what I'm trying so, uh, so just to, on, in terms, because I think content sounds fine. Mm. In terms of sort of delivery, would mm. you sort of, because I, so, I don't really, I, I, I know the groups, yes, but yeah. I don't really know much about Agile. I, may, yeah. I can maybe sort of go through a definition and I, and I would definitely want to sit in on any sort of, any type session or anything sure. like that. Mm -hmm. But is this something like, is it something that you have or work? So it would be definitely something that we would see paying for. Sure. Um, but is that is it something that you would feel comfortable sort of facilitating yourself, or do you think that facilitation approach would be better? Uh, I, I would be happy to facilitate it. Yeah. I mean, to the extent that you know, I I, uh, I mean, we use an agile process, and we use that in collaboration with Voluntary Action Hero Cooperative. So you know, yeah. I talk about agile. And I mean, the, the area where I have less experience is in, you know, I, I haven't actually, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm running my own charity now, but I mean, it's like, I, I, I can't claim to be someone who's, um, you know, very, very familiar with the, the charity sector, which I think is yeah. what you've, you've got. Um, yeah. And so, I mean, I think, yeah, I mean, at the very minimum, what we can be doing Some... in this thing is presenting how Agile works to this, this group and they... At the very least, they kind of come up with a bit more of an understanding of what Agile is, and maybe they have some ideas that yeah. will be useful for them. And they may say, "Well, that's all well and good, but that won't work in my situation because." Uh, but then, actually, I think that would be the great thing for the middle part of the because you know, having presented the Agile ideas at the beginning, you know, and they've got things like here, like you should build products around motivated individuals, give them the environment and support they need, and trust them to get the job done. And they might say, "Well, look, nobody in my organization is motivated. There's there's no motivation. There's no, there's absolutely nothing." And so then that could come out yeah. as, okay, in the middle hour, motivation. How, how do we address problems of motivation in, you know, organizations could be something that one sub team then works on and then presents back to the rest of the group. And we can kind of, you know, work with them and hear more about, oh, well, why is everybody in your group demotivated or what have you? And yeah. yeah. So, 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 that, so that, yeah, it feels like it could work. And particularly if you've got people who are coming in, and, and you know in any group there's going to be people who are more quieter and, and others who want to say things and so on um yeah I, I would be very happy to kind of try and you know make it make it I, I think it would be a good thing for you and I to do together uh I can I can yeah you know, no I, I'll be I'll definitely be around the day yeah it's it I, I've so I've just wanted to sort of call you and see sort of what content in terms of about but I mean I can definitely just put 
it will take sort of happily will take sort of five groups of four people or um four groups of five or however you want to play it yeah i mean I think and got, yeah. Um, yeah. and i will be there on the, and i will sort of pitch in with any sort of monitoring community sets of foot and also i think maybe sort of rachel with her work with you as well yeah sort of just like as actors like a ground into the work as well yeah yeah so, uh, that'll be absolutely fine so that no yeah I'll, so yeah definitely that's that's all right but um for me sometimes i feel about actually not coming from a charity sector um because it becomes a bit more of a fresher approach so yeah. um uh so yeah so i i sort of see it as an added bonus a little bit um yeah. but yeah yeah well and what we could do um is is in advance of the workshop is we could kind of do a dry run with um you know you and rachel and maybe some of the other people from vhc you know like i say it, in principle it can be done if we just had one other person besides yumi and rachel we yeah. could run like a little micro version of it over the course of an hour and uh you know get polish the materials a bit and encounter some of the rough edges and uh you know like also increase yours and Rachel's competence in you know what is this how is it going to work and and uh you know make sure that on the day we can you know have the best chance of, of making it a fun and exciting session yeah that sounds like a good idea yeah 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 no definitely um only thing I suppose for that would be a set of time so maybe it's not going through the whole three hours maybe no, it's yeah. going through saying, do, do one, a, a reduced amount yeah do, i was saying like do it one hour yeah. do an even even okay. like further compressed thing uh with you know like and we can you know we can fill in oh and this is the point where we do more discussion and we just have examples yeah, yeah I, I mean i think we could replace the weekly local support meeting with that one week and just do it over uh, an hour or less yeah yeah okay no i mean i'm i i'd be definitely up for that and i think it's really good sort of best practice in terms of teaching as well just to yeah, sort yeah. Of practice do it before you actually do it as well. Yeah. Yeah. No. So yeah, that's that's absolutely fine as well. Cool. 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 All right. Well. Uh, yeah. Anything else we need to work out? Just sort of thinking. So, I mean, as you were describing, sort of the event, I thought it could be really um, interesting. So a lot in the sector at the moment is um, uh, uh, local authorities, like the CCG, uh, which is a cl clinical commissioning. Mm -hmm. It's around their consultation, consultations to the sector. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'm wondering if, like, like uh, so usually we would charge sort of local authorities and CCGs to mm -hmm. attend. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if maybe just sort of opening it up for free because then actually see the benefits of working in this type of model as well. Yeah, I mean, it's sort of quite helpful for them. Yep. Um, do you think it would sort of, uh, or do you would, would you rather just sort of stick to the audience of voluntary and community sector? Well, why don't I think for the first run, why don't we keep it as a limited release, shall we say, for the first thing? I mean, if we then only get very, very few people signing up, then maybe we would want to increase it. But let's, yeah. why don't we, I, I think that the, I, I'd love to be doing that kind of thing for that broader group as well. But yeah, why don't we start with the, um, you know, because we can always run, you know, if, if the, I, I think we'll, we'll yeah, my um, I think we'll learn a lot from doing it the first time as well. And I think that what, you know, the best, the best thing to do is, um, you know, it, 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 I mean, if you were concerned that we would not get enough interest from just the voluntary sector, uh, then maybe big attempt to begin with. But I think, you know, probably like superficially, I'd say, let's just do it for the voluntary sector first off and you know we'll see how that goes and then we can do another one you know if there's more interest or if there's you know uh from those other groups yeah well, i think we may have lost um alex there anyway any thoughts michael oh really no no um i'm, I'm seeing it as a potentially interesting project to get a bit closer to some of the uh, people who might actually be, you know, end users of, um, of local support, which I think is a bit of a problem for us in that it would like to 
connect with those people. Um, yes. Okay. Yeah, oh, Alex, so it sounds like we lost you there for a bit. Um, but yeah, so um, anyway, maybe we'll, we should have a conversation again. I mean, I think you're about to go around holiday. You know, let's have an, yeah. another conversation when you're back and perhaps when you're not over such a, a well, dodgy condition. Um, what I'll do is I'll book the room. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, yes. What I'll do is I'll put content out there just so, but because otherwise I know that with our communication schedule, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, just bookings will be sort of few and far between. Um, so cool. I'll get some content together. And when I sort of come back, sort of we just sort of beef up the content a bit. Sounds good. Um, yep. And then in as well to see if they suit you as well does that sound good hopefully uh, i can do your, that tomorrow your, after your, your audio session. your audio faded out there i think what i'm saying is why, oh. don't you, why don't you write me an email with a summary of what you want to do and i'll sign off on that and then we'll go from there because just at the moment you know like the audio is perfect and then it drops and then it comes back and yeah i'm not sure what i'm agreeing to. <laughs> i'm sure it's going to be fine it all, all sounds good in principle the bits that i can hear Anyway, why don't you do a, an email summarizing where we are and uh, I'll sign okay. up on that tomorrow, yeah? Yeah, that sounds good. Excellent. All right, nice one. Uh, I'll catch up with you tomorrow. All right, sorry for the audio issues. No problem. All right, bye for now. See ya. Bye. Bye-bye. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, well, uh, I've got to run off now. I guess I will see you tomorrow, Michael. All right, bye. Bye for now.